Hey there, I am in a probably familiar place if you're into car YouTubers. I'm into car YouTubers, hello. <laughs> We're not scripting anything. No. <laughs> Apologize, this is really awkward, but uh, I'm here with Freddy because he's building a super, super expensive system. Actually, this is probably the most expensive system I've ever even like been around. Really? Yeah, I, I, I mean, maybe some crazy mods or exceptions, but. Well, would you like me to throw some of this away just so, just so it's a little bit more accessible to you? I will lose half of my subscribers if you burn that 3090. <laughs> I, what about both of them? Th th these are endangered species, okay? okay? They deserve their own private habitats. Yes. And uh, that private habitat's gonna be the O11 Dynamic XL. We have a lot of EK gear. Freddie bought like all of this stuff, like, with the exception of a lot of the EK stuff. Thanks EK for sending that out. Yes. But uh, yeah, Freddie dipped into his own pocket and bought two RTX 3090s, which were not cheap. He bought a bunch of other crazy stuff, like a, did you have the 64 core? Yeah, I got 64, 64 core, core uh, Ryzen. Thread. This is a big one. It also, it, it's a coaster. Okay. So you put this down. <laughs> it's a very expensive coaster. Oh, this is something where um, I don't even know. Uh, am I holding this right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. We just lost half our viewers. Okay. So uh, we're going to be building this. He's going to be filming a thing of his own. We should link that down below as well. But I uh, hope you guys have fun watching this one. Here we go. Let's do it. With tech selling out in seconds, it's nice to get a head start. And EVJ's Elite Member Program gives shoppers just that. Become an Elite Member through either the purchase of qualifying hardware or community engagement, and you'll be able to purchase newly released products a full 24 hours before the general public. That's a huge head start. You'll also have access to daily giveaways and the EVJ Associate Program, where you can earn money and rewards by offering discounts to others. Learn more by clicking the link below and use offer code SALAZAR for a discount at checkout. Why, why are there two big boxes? Are, are there two motherboards in here? Uh, there should be. Actually, it looks like you get like a graphics card in there too. I, I know, I know. You get a PS5? <laughs> it, it looks like a graphics card. This is an M.2 expander card and it's arrow for more arrow because it needs to go fast. Yeah, you should probably take the paper out first. Yeah, are you sure? <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure you should do that. So what I'm my main goal for this is just to not be the verge. And if I can avoid being the verge uh, with their PC build, then I will have one. Caution, slide out the external cap before sliding in the carrier frame with CPU. Do I have to do this? So yeah, you should if you don't want to break your socket or your chip. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's it's like a Torx. It's actually proprietary. There should be a tool in here, to be honest with you. I think there's a tool in here. I mean, for so, grand. Uh, so, there should be, so <laughs> should a, be a set of tools. Oh, look, there's a tool. Hey. Wow. Yeah, no, this special EK block here, wow. how beautiful that thing looks, you're going to get full IHS coverage with this bad boy. Awesome, awesome. So, take this out and... Okay, unlock. <laughs> Just still oh, trying man. to get it out of the box. <laughs> There's a lot of steps to this, man. Am I supposed to, I can't touch the underside of this. You're supposed to sing while you pull it out. Oh! <laughs> Slide that in. Boom. That locked into place, sort of. So, put this guy down. That seems like Careful, 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 don't, don't, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. It seems like it's in there. Okay, yeah, it's in there, it's in there, it's in there. Just gotta, just gotta <laughs> hit it real hard. Uh, then it's close one, two, three, sorry. Mm -hmm. Compared to a normal CPU install, it's a little, a little more involved. That's it, boom, we're done. Are, yeah. you, are you sure? No, we're not done. What do you think, RAM or, oh no, no, the water block. Oh uh, yeah, you could do either one first. Wow, yep, nice. Yank on everything. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Um, where's our paste? Uh. <laughs> so do you like set it down and then kind of like work it around a little bit? Like uh, kind of shimmy it once it's on there? Yeah, do you do that or not? No. Okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know serious? if there's like, a, there's like a soothsayer way of doing it. I'm, it's my first. It's not your first. It's, it's your my first time with a, with a, with a thread ripper. Oh, oh yeah, and, I, and I, I misaligned the thing. Oops. Oh, yeah. My. Now, now we've got to wipe now up. I throw the whole thing we away. got to wipe up the thermal paste and redo it. Well, if it doesn't go into the notch, you just have to hit it really just, hard. Just, yeah, take it, a hammer will work. So this, by itself, 64 gigs of RAM. Actually, no, that's 128 gigs of RAM. Oh, 128, that's right, yeah. Yeah, wow. this is like supreme overkill for what you're going to be doing. <laughs> I like to play Minecraft. Uh, backwards, other way, other way, other way. Are you sure? Yeah, you're going to fry that stick. I'm not going to fry anything. Push it in the other way. Are you sure? Have you done this before? I have totally trashed the stick around doing it backwards.
All right, you get to do wiring now. Listen, wiring is always the fun part it's of so any fun. build. This is like very uncomfortable and I can't see anything what's going on here, but I'm sure it'll be a nice angle. Um, now, what do we have? Is this, is this wire? No, this is not the wire. <laughs> We're off to a great start. <laughs> Where where are the wires be? <laughs> they're in the case. They're right there. <laughs> all, are those are those all the... of that? That's what we got to do. Yeah. Oh, we... I thought we were gonna run the power supply stuff. No. Oh no no no. We'll we'll do that toward the end. You want to take care of the small stuff first, so that the big wires from the power supply are easier okay. to run. Uh, are you a fan of the bread ties? Uh, no, take them out. They they oh, okay. they disgust me. They disgust you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't know you, were, you had such a. <laughs> Strong opinion of these things, but okay. This case actually, so when we get our power supply in here and we like just we just shove all the cables behind this panel. Uh-huh. And then they're completely hidden. You don't even need to use Velcro straps or anything. I know, but I'm gonna know that it's there. Wow, that is beautiful. This is really nice. It's also kind of heavy. Oh my god, I just thought of something. How heavy is this computer gonna be? Probably close to 80, 100 pounds. 100 pounds for a computer? It's going to be pretty chunky. Yeah, we got a lot so of fluid this is, this and stuff. So this has to be on my floor now. Uh, no, you, no, you can put it on your desk. Just keep it near a, a leg. So I have, my, my current PC is being suspended underneath my desk by like a, a mount. I don't think that mount is going to hold this. No. Yeah, I think it's going to be a little, <laughs> a little much. So this is going to be a floor PC now. Oh, no, don't say that. Oh. Okay, I mean, oh. I don't want to put it on my desk because I have the, the G9 and it takes up all the space. Uh, why don't you wall mount the G9? Because my desk is in the middle of my room. What? Who Who does that? Me. Okay, so uh, oh, distro that's, plate. Yep, that's the pump right there. Sticking that's out. the pump. So this is just mounted onto here? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to check and see if it slides in in place of the glass or if it slides in behind. I think it slides in behind the glass. Is there is there a manual? <laughs> That's probably a dumb question. Is now. there a person we can call? Is there, <laughs> is, there, is there a YouTube video we can watch? So this this obviously goes on to... Those tabs. Like, yeah. So. Well, that's not right. Would you like to tell everyone how much you hate USB 3.0 headers now? I don't hate them. I just... They're misunderstood, you know? Dude, this distro plate looks so good in here. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, so um, this is a modular power supply, and I'm told that makes things a lot easier. Now, if we add up the amount of wires <laughs> that is going into this computer, pretty sure you can go around the earth. One thing I'm noticing now is that when you have a PC that is of this kind of like high caliber, like this high profile, uh, there's not a lot of instructions. You're actually doing pretty good. I mean, like, I'm not having I'm not having to coach you much at all. You remember all this. Pretty well, much it's from not last like time. super difficult. No, either. it's raw. To be fair, to be fair, it's really easy yeah. at the end of the day. But yeah, I mean, the wiring is is I would say probably one of the hardest parts, and you're you're breezing through it. So well, the wiring is is easy now because the power supply is out of the case uh, when everything has to go everywhere, and it's not really. I mean, it's not color coded. Everything kind of looks the same. That's going to be interesting. Which is worse, wiring harness or power supply cables? Oh, wiring harness for sure. Now, if you were the Verge, make sure your fan is facing inward so that it can breathe. Installed. Or just, yeah, just set it on yeah, top. Yeah. That looks good too. Did the Verge really put the, oh yeah, they did. They flipped the fan like inward so that it was pulling in air from the back of the motherboard, good. which, yeah, that's. I mean, it's not, not a horrible thing to do if you want to have your computer overheat. Yeah, no, it's not horrible. Anytime you work on a computer, make sure you have garbage bags underneath. <laughs> um, just, that's a, that's a pro tech tip. Uh, does CPU one and two matter as far as placement? Mm, no, no they, they should, all do the same thing. They should be identical headers. Okay. Oh, Dude, right. That fits pretty good. Look at that top and bottom. I mean, it literally fits almost flush with the base of your motherboard mm -hmm. and the top of your motherboard. So this is it. We're done, right? This is, this is all yeah. You can just turn it on. We don't need fluid. Fluids for chumps. No, we don't need video cards or nothing. So is this? Can we put it in video cards now or no? Uh, yeah, we actually could. Um, that's probably one of the only other things we need to do, to be honest. Uh, we've got the drives in there already. We've yeah, we've got everything else in there. If you wanted, we could put a few fans kind of in this area and just have those like maybe set to intake, so you have some positive pressure in here. Do we have fans? Uh, we have some fans? extras? We should. If we don't, I mean, I have some at the house. So I can always bring them later. I got two. I got two more. Two more? Okay, we need one more other than that one. I have three more. Boom. There we go. So we could totally, like, get a little intake thing going here. And, um... So, wait, the yeah. fans go, like, right in this little array thing? Yeah. Yeah, so they'll just mount. You can mount them on either the back side here or on the front side. And then you'll just 
have air pulled in. Uh, yeah, so the only other, I would say, difficult part, apart from tube bending, is gonna be uh, graphics card water block installation. So we need to put the blocks on the cards. And then, and, do and, they just uh, connect through the sides? And then, uh, what do you mean, the, the tubes? No, no, I mean like, yeah, the tubes for the, um, to connect at, at the side. Are there ports at the sides or are they like They're in the front. Yeah, they're in the front. So you have like ports here and then ports here for each card. So there's not a lot to the video card really. I mean, it's just this, <laughs> this wafer. I bet you could sell this and then people wouldn't even know. <laughs> dude, dude, you could sell the box probably for like 200 bucks. With a brick in it? I'm not, no, no, with nothing. You could just sell the box itself for 200 bucks. So we need to take this off, correct? Well, yeah, the thermal pads should be removed. They'll have new thermal pads included in the EK blocks. And then we also need to remove the old thermal paste. So we have to remove these these guys? Yep, all of that. Okay, so all of this. Um, what What is your method of choice for removing that? Uh, if you had pry tools, those would be really handy, um, but we don't have pry tools, so we'll be I using- I have a plastic razor. Uh, like, oh, actually that would probably, is it pretty small? It's, yeah, it's the size of a razor. Yeah, let's use that. Yo, how do you find your way like around this place? <laughs> I'd like to have a car just like floating in midair with two engines below it in my office. Uh, you want to do some pull-ups? See what happens? Uh, no, thank you. Yeah, turn on the air compressor. <laughs> oh my god. So we'll be cleaning this up next. He's got the air compressor on. That is an industrial air compressor, which is why it is so loud. Wow. I need one of those for my PCDC series. Oh yeah. It's supposed to be a DIY thing. Boom. What do you think of the back plate? Oh, the back plate's awesome. It's shiny. Yep, very shiny. Shiny equals good. Oh, it's so much nicer when you have the actual screws that you need. Yep, that took us about 45 minutes off camera to figure out. Yep. All right, now we have a completed video card. Ooh. Dude, this is nice. So you'll just put it on that, that the first one that you touched there. No. Yep. Well, it's going to be awful tight in here. We've got the first card installed. This will be the lower card. And then we're gonna put one more, of course, up top in that uppermost 16 lane slot. And uh, the distro pretty much does the rest. So we'll have a bunch of 90 degree bends coming straight into a distribution block up front. And it had to be pretty straightforward. I think it'd look really nice having a bunch of horizontal lines going across. I think Freddy's pretty much toast for the day. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good, I'm good. I'm Easy ready to it. get this done. I mean, I'm. Let's go until midnight or whenever. <laughs> Why, who needs sleep? Why I, do you do that? I mean, compared to working on McLarens and no, stuff, no, this no, is I'm, probably I'm, a piece no, of cake. I'm not, huh? I'm not tired at all. Uh, <laughs> this seems like it's just it's so fiddly. There's so much little like small details, and we're all also doing this as a like a pioneering exercise. Not a ton of people are doing stuff like this. This is all custom, so there's not any like off the shelf solutions. So you really have to be creative with a lot of these things. You know, sometimes you don't know whether it's a specific bolt that you need or, you know, a, a standoff or, or whatever, um, like the fan orientation. We didn't know how that was gonna go. So we have to all think about that before it goes into a build. And that's sort of how it works with cars anyway. But uh, I think it's coming together pretty nicely. You know, nothing's uh, screaming at us yet. So we'll see how it goes. Awesome. All right. Well, that's the end of part one. Uh, I think Freddie might be coming over to our place to finish this off. We have the, you know, the tools and stuff for bending, but I don't think it'll be too complicated after the fact. Although we do have so much crap on this table that uh, maybe I'll just have to come back here. Maybe. You know. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see. I mean, this is going to be a lot to put in any car and then I'm going to forget lots of things. So Yeah. And a lot of tiny screws too. A lot of things oh, yeah, just yeah. hanging out everywhere. So I'll be sure to put them all into one container and then it's gonna be impossible to that find. will be lovely that'll be a day in and of itself just sorting screws Absolutely. all right everyone thank you for watching i'm doing this awkward vlog thing that i'm not used to doing god you are so blurry back there i love this bokeh this is nice mm -hmm. and uh smash that like button yeah smash that like button yeah i mean freddy you're actually better at this than i am you want to go ahead and uh okay sure so you yeah i'm not good at this you just, you just saw that right <laughs> yeah this is why i take multiple takes uh so definitely go whoa geez. So definitely subscribe to Greg's channel. Uh, and his channel. Subscribe to mine if you want. Um, but uh, if you are watching this and not subscribed, which usually 50 to 60% of people are, then uh, definitely subscribe because uh, you have a lot of stuff to catch up on. He has a lot of really, really good content. Oh, is that it? Yeah, is that it? Uh, okay. I thought you were so, gonna, uh, you keep going. I mean, you're, you're I love okay, it when you. Okay, uh, so, bye-bye. <laughs> um, bye-bye. <laughs>